just wanted to check in with everybody today. I hope everybody had a great weekend. I posted a video last night on Patreon and I discussed some very concerning news. Food company Augustin Farms just issued a letter to its suppliers declaring it will suspend business for the next 90 days effective immediately. If you uh, follow my Patreon channel, you heard this last night. Um, if you're not a member of my Patreon channel, please come over and check it out. But I want to talk about this today here on YouTube. This is another reminder that we are going to continue to see food shortages um, and the impact of food shortages here in America, and it's going to get worse. This is very concerning when you look at a company like Augustin, who supplies many of the other food companies, that they're shutting down for 90 days. Uh, they cannot fulfill orders on time, they say. The company is having... Uh, having critical supply chain failures combined with extraordinary demand. You know, this is the time right now, if you are food insecure, you do not have enough put away for emergency, this is the time to be acquiring this stuff. Now that Augustine's gonna be out for the next 90 days, that could be 120 days, who knows? But that means it's gonna get a little bit harder now to get th these emergency foods. And I can tell you this, you know this, uh, you, 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 you know the trend, the harder it is to get, the more expensive it costs. We need to be watching out now for blackouts this winter across the United States of America due to the lack of coal and gas supplies. Many generator manufacturers right now are sold out. What is, I mean, we are watching a trend here, ladies and gentlemen, and we are gonna see real problems this winter. Remember, we are going through a major eviction crisis right now. We're gonna see inflation continue to soar. Getting food at the store is gonna become a little bit more and more difficult as time goes. And now it's gonna, it's gonna get more and more difficult to get these emergency emergency foods. If things get really critical, we hit a critical moment and the stores are wiped out, uh, what are you going to do? You're on your own. Uh, this is why I've been topping off the last couple months with some of these emergency food companies like uh, Four Patriots Food Supply. Uh, I just got an order a few days ago from Augustin, not even knowing that this was taking place. And I'm glad that, that I, I, I got that order from Augustin just to top off some of my, my, my preparations. But uh, this is getting very worrisome and we need to be paying attention to what's going on. If you're ignoring this, uh, you're being foolish. And if you have kids, you should not, especially if you have kids, you should not be ignoring what is happening right now. Uh, now this has been floating all over the news uh, yesterday, today, Lebanon, massive blackout, the entire country on Saturday uh, plunged into darkness. Absolutely no power in the entire country. Think about that. The country's two main power stations ran out of fuel. Residents are now entirely on their own. I do believe uh, today uh, they're starting to get some power back on, but this is what an economic meltdown looks like, ladies and gentlemen. This is caused by massive poverty, uh, hi hyperinflation, a uh, crashing job market. Uh, they cannot even afford to put fuel, diesel, into these power stations to run these generators to keep the power on. This is how bad it's getting. And I know people will say that can't happen here, but uh, Lebanon wasn't always poor. But now uh, they're seeing the impact of inflation, poverty, uh, a bad job market, bad leadership, you name it. Anything is possible now, ladies and gentlemen, and we really need to be paying attention to what's going on. This can happen in Lebanon. It can happen here. If, if you are watching what's happening in Venezuela, the, the hyperinflation, the power outages there, we're seeing power outages all over the world. It can happen here. The question is, are you prepared to deal with it? And how long could you deal with it? If the lights went out for a week, could you deal with it? Most people would say yes, but 
We begin to see other problems when the lights go out. Uh, you begin to see a huge rise in violence. And what's the, the, the saying? Uh, you are nine meals away from a revolution. So imagine if people are, are getting hungry, their kids are hungry, what they're capable of doing. So make sure that you are able to protect yourselves. Uh, the hedge today, empty Manhattan storefronts, double historical rate. We're not talking about Venezuela. We're not talking about Lebanon. We're talking about right here in America, in New York. From the Real Estate Board of New York, this, this, is, what they, they, this is what they say. 30% of the 311 storefronts in retail areas around uh, Midtown East and Grand Central are vacant. I reported this a few days ago, uh, and it's making the news again. This is more than double the historical rate. Ladies and gentlemen, this is worse than when, it, than when we had the Great Depression. You didn't see this amount of stores closing up in New York. And we certainly didn't see the type of damage we're seeing. If you watched um, my last video where I showed the old Westfield Mall here in Palm Desert, California, uh, they've taken the signs down. It's no longer the Westfield Mall. The signs are gone because the lender called the note on the mall and nobody at this point knows what's going on. Um, uh, all they know is it is in foreclosure. What's going to happen to it? Who knows what happens to all the stores? Nobody knows. And this is happening right now here in America. I've never seen anything like it. Cotton prices just hit a 10-year high. Uh, what does this mean? Uh, it means that that cost is going to be passed on to you and I to wear the shirt made of cotton, a pair of jeans, whatever. Whatever the case may be, the price is just being passed on to the consumer and things are going to get more expensive. So you're paying more at the pump. You're going to pay more for cotton, T-shirts, clothing, jeans, what have you. You're going to pay more. You're paying more for health insurance. You're paying more to get an education. You're paying more for rent. You're paying more for an automobile. Uh, uh, and the food, food prices are absolutely going hyper, hyper. Uh, the hedge today is the small business sector being targeted for destruction. I don't know. Uh, please comment down below. Do you think that this is all happening on purpose? There were over 200,000 extra small business closures in the past year. I mean, think about this number of extra small businesses, over 200 little mama poppers decimated, vaporized. Um, that's a lot of small businesses. Yet. Uh, people tell me how great uh, the market's doing, uh, how much they're making in cryptos, yet we're going to see more continued mall closures, mall, uh, more small mom and pop businesses closed, more restaurants closed. Um, but everything's okay because the Ponzi schemes continue, the stock market's up. All the big box stores seem to be doing just fine. It, it, don't, don't you find that interesting that... Um, the Costco's, the Walmart's, the Sam's Club, all, all the corporate restaurants, nobody missed a beat. Everybody's doing fine. You know, if we go back to the Great Depression, there were thousands of, of, of small banks that existed here in the U.S. By the end of the 1930s, over 9,000 small banks right here in America disappeared. And who benefited? Big banks. And I, I mention that because when we see what's happening to all of our small business, who's benefiting? If the mom and pop restaurant closes, who benefits? Well, McDonald's, Taco Bell, Jack in the Box, Burger King, because people have less places to go to. They have less choices, right? So where are they going to go? They're going to go to what's open. They're going to go to what's convenient. And they're going to go to the big corporate, big box uh, fast food restaurants, which are horrible, uh, not good for you. And I think this is another reason why we see an epidemic of obesity and heart disease in America and so many diseases. And look, I'm guilty of it from time to time. You know, I partake in it. It's easy. It's convenient. It's open. But I'm doing my best to kind of clean it up a little bit. But I mean, look, look at this correlation between the, the, the small, small banks we once had here in America where you got great service and they were part of the community. And now, uh, you know, those banks are gone for the most part and you have big banks.
that now just monopolize everything. And this is kind of what I see happening uh, with business in America. The small mama poppers, the, 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 the little retailers and restaurants, they're obliterated. And so now you're forced to go to the Walmarts, the Sound Clubs, the Costcos, and they're doing fine. They haven't closed, they haven't missed a beat. Their, biz their business is doing better than ever. So is it intentional? Comment down below, let me know what you think. Here's another article today. Goldman slashes is 20, 21 and 2022 G GDP forecasts again. Uh, we've got fourth quarter uh, GDP forecasts going from 5.5% now down to 4.5%. But don't worry, we all have our Walmarts and our Costcos and our Sam Clubs and McDonald's to fall back on, nothing to worry about. CNBC, Southwest Airlines cancels 1,000 more flights as disruptions mount. Southwest canceled around 2,000 flights Saturday and Sunday. Uh, 1,000 flights today were canceled. Specu speculation uh, is this. It was not the weather. So let me know uh, your thoughts on that. I, I bring this up because, look, there is just so much happening. And we, we look at the volatility uh, of what's happening across the board in business. And we look at tourism and we look at the airlines and we look at the retailers. And it's just unbelievable what is happening uh, to, to cancel 2,000 flights in a weekend I mean, this, this has an impact on our economy. This has an impact on a lot of people's lives. People need to get to places to see family or, or for business, and you just cannot get from point A to point B. Uh, I, it seems like the whole system is completely breaking down when you just can't book a flight, jump on a plane, and go somewhere because it's canceled. So it, it's just these disruptions, uh, getting product here to America, getting product on the shelves. I, I mean, it's just disruption after disruption after disruption. The U U.S. is officially a banana republic. The top 1% now own more wealth than the entire middle class right here in America. This on the hedge today. Top 10% own 70% of all wealth. I mean, think about that. You are watching the middle class and the poor be decimated. You're watching the wealth transfer take place. We hear about the Fed redistributing wealth. Yes, they are. The redist uh, redistribution has been from the poor and middle class to the rich. What is the definition of a banana republic? I'm going to read this to you. A banana republic, here's the definition, a nation as one which has a small but ultra powerful and unaccountable kleptocracy, which gets richer year after year by stealing from the rapidly shrinking middle class. 50% of the US is middle class. It was much higher at one time, but right now it's shrinking. But right now, the middle class in America is around 50%, if you even believe that number. But that number is the same as the middle class in Turkey, China, and Russia. The major problem is it doesn't matter how much money, if you're in the middle class, how much you're making. What matters is who is taking it. And they are taking it through inflation, through shortages, through taxation. And it's just another way to steal your money uh, from the hardworking class here of Americans. And it's going to get a lot worse as we're going to see more taxation. Uh, we're going to see more shortages. We're going to see more inflation. We're going to see more problems. And that's not going to affect the, the, the top 1%. They're going to benefit from it. It's going to affect the poor. It is going to affect the middle class. And my heart goes out to, to the people out there, the working class of America who, who, who are being robbed, Social Security being robbed, um, pensions being robbed. It's all being robbed. And people are going to wake up one day, and I've said this many times in the past, they're going to want to play the blame game. They're going to want to point fingers. 
right now, if you have a job, if you have an income, if you have the means, you need to be protecting what wealth you have. You need to have food. You need to have some gold, some silver, some real assets. You need, if you have a house, get it paid off. If you have a car, get it paid off. Get your debts paid off. Do not be a debt slave. Who's going to get hurt the worst when this economy completely implodes, when these markets implode? It's going to be anybody holding debt. The people who have cash reserves are going to come in and buy this stuff up on the cheap. People who have had their bills paid off and have some money, have some assets. They're going to take advantage of a very, very sad situation. Um, many people will prosper, but most people are going to get wiped out and because most people have debt. Most people have so much debt. They bought a house they couldn't afford. They bought the BMW, the Mercedes they couldn't afford. They've got the eight, nine hundred, or thousand dollar lease payment, and these people have not put themselves in a good position for what's coming right now. It is about getting in the right position. Be diversified. Uh, get the debts paid off, and be in a position to weather this economic tsunami that's coming because it's gonna. It's we're, we're gonna see. Uh, some very, very serious times here in America. And, and look, I've said this many, many times. Things are not going to get better. They're going to get much, much worse. So get prepared and position yourself. The less debt you have, the quicker you're going to be able to move and evolve as this economy changes. First off, you don't want to be starving. You don't want your family to be starving. You don't want to be a victim of crime. So make sure you are prepared. But there's going to be sales and there's going to be opportunity. You know, everybody thinks I'm pessimistic. I'm very optimistic because um, I'm preparing and positioning myself to take advantage of the sales that are coming. And, and I know many of you are also. The game right now is patience. Patience is going to win this game. I'm going to leave it there. Have a phenomenal weekend. Um, God bless every one of you. Thanks for supporting the channel. Make sure you share this video, subscribe, hit the bell notification so that you are alerted with the newest videos and check out my Patreon channel. God bless. Talk to all of you soon.